and I've, I've seen a few of the videos of you doing these snake collections and the thing that struck me the most is how, especially when you had that mamba a couple weeks ago, how relaxed you are. You're handling this thing and it's kind of, you know, it's a wild snake, it's a mamba, incredibly fast moving, highly venomous and you're just sitting there like casually talking to the camera, letting, you know, telling us a little bit about it before you release it and, and I just don't know how, I mean, I guess you've done it so often that you're able to be relaxed but it was just pretty amazing to see somebody so comfortable in, in a relatively dangerous situation. I, I won't lie, I have been doing this for, since I was, before I was 18. So I, I do think there's an element of, I'm so used to it, but I'll tell you a secret. If I go on a call out and I see a mamba, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not always overly excited. I, I am nervous. So I, I have trained myself to, to be calm, but trust me, I, I'm as steady as anything. But once I've released that mamba or once I've got it in the tub, my hands do start to shake. Um, a mamba is a very, I've kept a lot of, a lot of snakes. I've kept king cobras, a lot of serious snakes. Nothing on earth compares to a wild black mamba. Nothing. Nothing. Just so speed, intelligence. Insane. Insane. I, I can't even, I can't even get to it, any snake. I, I literally, I, I don't even I will catch anything with a tiny hook and a dodgy bucket if I have to, or a broomstick, whatever. I, I don't care. I, I'm very confident with all our cobras, all our adders, everything. A black mamba is just something that always just rattles me a bit. They're, 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 the scientific name, Dendro aspis, okay, the, the genus, means tree snake. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people forget how arboreal they are, and they are long. They are extremely long. And they are not aggressive. They're very nervous. So you take something that's got the core strength and, and the power to be arboreal, highly, highly venomous, one of the most, if not the most advanced venom delivery system on earth, they literally tap you. They don't bite. They tap you. And that's enough. You're dead. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they, that's why a lot of times um, with, with mamba bites, people get bitten multiple times, two or three times, because they're literally just so fast. It's just one, two, three, if you tapped and you, they just... It, now it's long. You've got it on a hook stick or a grab stick. It can come back on itself in seconds. It's petrified. And normally when you see them, when you get called out for them, it's on a hot day and they're active. They're looking for food. They're moving around. And you go and try and catch a, a hot mamba. That is a different. So I enjoy the thrill and, and I love saving mambas. And I, I do think they're one of the most incredible animals on earth it's it's an, it's it's an epic predator um but i do get nervous if if, if i see that mamba well I, I hear a call we've got a big gray snake oh i get nervous <laughs> yeah yeah you got to go yeah. into like performance mode and and you know shit yeah, all yeah. The, you can't be you thinking about anything else just, yeah because yeah you know, they will they will hurt you they will well, hurt you that's the amazing thing about them is how long they get I, I actually had no, I, I mean, I thought like they were like eight foot long snakes, but they can get, you know, much longer than that. They get massive. So I, I can't think off the top of my head, the maximum size. I haven't really seen, it's quite rare to find those really, really big ones. I, I think the biggest one I've seen is about, I can't remember if it was 3.4, 3.6 meters. But that's big. You hold the tail end. And there's three and a half meters the head, and you've got your little <laughs> one meter snake hook. There's not lots between you and it. Yeah, <laughs> no. so yeah, and they are they are they are very scary snake. They are very very scary snakes. Although I'll also say something. If you grab a mamba, I, I often try and use a hook stick. It doesn't always work that way. Um, if you grab a mamba, it's a different story. But there are a lot of instances here in South Africa. I see it relatively often actually uh, i'm not going to call mambas territorial but i would say to a certain extent they're residential so i don't know if they fight and protect the area that would be territorial but often if, if a mamba is established and comfortable you will see it basking in the same place you'll see it going into the same hole and they can actually coexist quite effortlessly with people they can become very habituated that mamba that i showed you in that video the other day that i, mm -hmm. that I put on the patreon page when I approached it, there were people all around. It, it, it's about a meter away off a very busy path where people work. It was relaxed in the tree. It, it, it had no fear. I approached it with my little grab stick uh, so close, it didn't even budge. 
it was so habituated with human presence. But when I grabbed it, it's a different thing. Right. So a frightened, scared, stressed mamba is a very dangerous thing. But I've also had experiences three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I was walking with my two dogs and we bumped a mamba. We were walking through thick, thick bush. And I just hear, I can hear the grass movement. And I just look left and just past both my dogs and me, about a meter apart uh, away from me, a mamba just came past and cruised. So as long as you don't mess with it, it it's actually a very easy animal to live with. Yeah, they're not looking to take down giant prey items. It's, you know, you're not. Exactly. It, that's it's. So, no. But I've never heard that venom delivery system piece before. I guess so. They're not really required to actually chomp and use their jaws to squeeze the venom into. It just comes no. out so quickly. It's. I. I. I stand. I will say it's one of, but I'm almost sure it is the most advanced in terms of speed and efficiency venom delivery systems of any of any snake. Um, they are insane. They literally just tap. You don't get bitten. You don't get grabbed. Where some of our other big venomous snakes, like snouted cobras, they grab. Yeah. Um, I've even seen them kill kill stuff um, in the wild. Where I found one that had a chameleon, and it just bites it, and it even pushes it into the ground. It like bulldogs it, right? Um, right. While pumping venom, but your mamba just tap tap follow, tap tap follow, tap tap, and then yeah, drop dead really eat. Stuff. Yeah, and, and I've actually just thought of this. If a lot of snakes that we find, especially in residential areas, have got some sort of damage, even in the bush. They've been bitten by a rat or they've been ridden over. A lot of snakes look like they've been beaten up. I don't think I've ever seen a mamba that has had a big bite mark or something <laughs> because they're not engaging right. with the prey. It's just tap, wait, tap, wait. It's insane. Yeah, that is that's really amazing, and it is like I said, it's a beautiful species and one of the most. Amazing, just, yeah. You're just drawn to it because of how incredible it is. 